then, this video is a bit different to my normal videos. And in this video, I said I just have to talk about because there's something that's really bugging me, which is that so many people are so bloody dumb. There's something that's really bugging me, and that is that so many people seem to think or have it in their heads that when lifts go wrong, they plummet down the shaft. And the number of times I've overheard conversations along that line is just really really fucking getting on my nerves because it's completely untrue because when lifts go wrong they plummet upwards and I just can't believe how unknowledgeable so many people are a number of times when you're in lifts and you overhear people's conversations and they always seem to go along the line of oh I hope this lift doesn't fall down well firstly it's not going to go wrong in the first place and if it did go wrong it'd fall upwards Oh, people are so dumb. The average person has so little knowledge about lifts is absolutely shocking. Sometimes I really wonder how people could be so stupid. And even occasionally when you get documentaries or something about lifts on the news, those news reporters are also completely dumbed down. How can people have so little knowledge about lifts? Oh, next time I hear someone talking about a lift or saying something along the lines of oh this lift could plummet down the shaft I'm just gonna scream because it really gets on my nerves and if you look on YouTube there's so many videos about how to survive a free falling lift when the lift hits the bottom of the shaft you should jump oh this videos got my nerves because it's not gonna hit the bottom of the shaft it's gonna hit the top of the shaft because free falling lifts the lift free falls upwards oh. So many people seem to think lifts free fall downwards and this lack of knowledge has actually got people killed. Now explain why. Because governments and lift companies, but mainly governments who are setting regulations, because everyone's so dumb and thinks lifts free fall downwards, they set the regulations to make sure lifts have protection to stop the lift free falling downwards. So okay, they've added all those protections into lifts, that's good. But that misconception has caused the regulations to make sure lifts can't free fall downwards when it's not going to free fall downwards, it's going to free fall upwards. And there's often no protection against lifts free falling upwards. It is really, really shocking, this is. Because if you look at all of the videos of lift accidents on YouTube, and I don't recommend that you do because some of them are a bit not nice, there's so many videos of Chinese lifts where a lift just starts creeping upwards, getting faster and faster and faster and crashes into the top of the shaft at great speed. And these accidents happen quite regularly, and this is because of brake failure. Now, lift brakes will fail over time. It's a mechanical part, it will fail. Regular maintenance protects against it. But when the lift brakes do fail, the lift's going to free fall upwards and that's because the counterweight is heavier than the lift. The counterweight is the weight of the lift at its mid capacity. But the capacity of lifts is always higher than what a lift can possibly take. And it's another thing that really gets on my nerves. A number of times I've been in a lift and you hear some old lady or some really dumb person go, the capacity on this lift says it should fit 10 people. There's no way you'll get 10 people into this lift. What on earth are they talking about? Oh, people are so fucking dumb. The capacity is supposed to be more than what you can fit into the lift. That's a safety feature. The capacity is always greater than what you can fit in the lift. So you can never overload the lift. That is a good thing. And when people go, oh, you can't fit four people into this lift. It's tiny. The sign says you should be able to fit four people into it. No, it doesn't. The sign says that's its capacity and you should not ever be able to get up to that capacity in the first place. People are so stupid. It's like people just live their lives in the unintelligent state and never really think about how things work. I don't get why so many people think lifts free fall downwards. Well, I sort of get it because it's the most obvious thing. But because it's the most obvious thing, it's the thing that gets protected against the most. Like lift cables are built over-engineered so the lift will never plummet down the shaft. The cables will never snap and the lift is never going to fall down. It's just something that doesn't happen. Because it's the most obvious thing. It's the most obvious thing that has prevented when that lifts free fall upwards, not downwards. Because people are so dumb I haven't thought about it. Governments have not put regulations into place to, to prevent against it. Well, at least till now. Because in 2017, the government has updated the regulations so that lifts have to have a bi-directional governor and unintended movement protection governor. And embarrassingly, generic lift companies have been doing this before the main lift companies. Not that ever want to promote stupid generics. But Jeanette lift companies have already been stalling these governors. And embarrassingly, is Cone, EcoDisc, Schindler, Eurolift have had the really simple governors that don't protect against upwards over speed or unintended movement protection. So, bi-directional governor. That means the governor has to trip both ways. The governor's quite a simple device. It spins around as the lift moves. When it goes too fast, the centrifugal force makes some bits on the governor jam into the wheel. That makes the governor stop moving. When the governor jams, it puts tension onto the governor cable. This pulls on the track grabs on the lift car. And also, as well as that, 
that also trips safety so at the most doesn't continue to power once the governor's trip then once the track grabs are engaged that it puts so much friction from the lift car to the lift tracks it stops the lift moving and it will prevent the lift free falling both downwards and upwards but the governor's soft on lifts only trip when you're in down, so the bi-directional governor trips in both directions. And as well as that, the new regulation set out, a governor must have unauthorized movement detection. And this means the governor has two modes, there's a little switch in it. When the lift's moving, it pushes that switch, the governor works as normal, if the lift goes too fast, the governor trips. But when the lift's not moving, or if the lift's switched off, the governor will trip with any movement. So that means if there's any movement, such as either a brake fails or some person goes and free falls the lift without putting it into free fall mode, the governor trips straight away and the lift cannot move. And that is far more safe Luckily the problem has finally been sorted out, but it is scary to think that a lot of lifts don't protect against upwards overspeed. But the thing that annoys me more is how dumb people are.